guys. Happy Father's Day for all the dads out there. And today we're gonna take a look at two new fairway drivers from a company that I like a lot, Reptilian Disc Golf. They just got the brand new Chameleon approved. This is in the amber line plastic. It is a speed eight fairway driver with actually a bigger rim. It's almost like a speed nine or 10 rim. As you can see, it's got a little bit of dome there. A little bit of shoulder, very, very blunt nose, and a fairly low parting line. And receiving approval shortly will be the Komodo. And the Komodo is a very overstable fairway driver, uh, even more overstable than their uh, Velociraptor. And if you take a look at that profile, that is an interesting disc profile right there. It's got a little bit of shoulder with a flat top very very high wing and a little bitty tiny micro bead on the bottom so what that means is it should be a disc that holds up to a lot of power and with the bead it should be able to take a good amount of abuse before it starts showing a lot of turn which is always a nice thing to have with both of these guys they'll kind of fill in slots in the reptilian lineup they didn't really have before and um kind of complement the Taro and Velociraptor that were made for them by Daredevil with a more local option as these are both molded by Gateway for them. This one is in the uh, armor plastic, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. So I think both of these will be really great. I went for blue in the baby blue because they look really nice and were easy to see. I also got my friend the Komodo in the navy and it had some uh, like light little sparkles, metal flakes throughout it. So let's take a look at these guys out in the field and see what we think. So we'll start out with the Komodo. Going with a nice flat forehand here. You see it rides out and penetrates pretty well. And here it hooks up and that's the most fade we're gonna see from it today, I think. Trying it on a big flex line now that it's raining, getting my legs into it a bit. You see it got some turn here and then it just kind of runs out of steam and plops down. That was just over 400 feet. Trying on a flat backhand here. Gonna put some pop into it. It holds straight for a long time and then just kind of finds the ground pretty quickly. Gonna try it on a spike hyzer. Rides out there and hyzers in nicely. Very controllable. Going over to the chameleon now. Doing like a slight hyzer, kind of a hyzer stall. Rides out there really well and Get some good distance doing like a stock hyzer with it here rides straight for a long time for a fairly gentle late fade that one's like 340. i'm going to try it on flat backhand turnover and it holds that turnover line all the way to the ground a little more height and it would have gone a long way i think i'm going to try it on a flat forehand and it actually turns over as well going that way not quite as long as the backhand, but pretty decent distance. Well, thank you guys for watching. As you could see, the Chameleon has a little bit of turn. If I gave it a flat throw, it would gently turn all the way to the ground, holding that turn. It seemed to like just a little bit of hyzer. On the high hyzer and this more spike line, it rode up, flipped, flew straight for a long time, and then crashed back down. And then, um, I never got the S curve completely dialed in with it. I think that there is a line there where you can get some serious distance. Most of those throws were in the you know, 330, 360 range, but I think there is another gear to this guy. But for a disc that is in that fairway area, that's about the distances most people are gonna be aiming for with it, but I do think there is more that can be unlocked. The Komodo, on the other hand, that is an interesting flight both forehand and backhand, but especially forehand, you can put as much power on as you want. You see, I gave it a little bit of Anheuser on that high flex line. It bombed out there, it was over 400 feet. And that's a, that's a good long throw for a speed nine over stable disc. It does not have a ton of fade for as over stable as it is. It holds up to power really well, but it dumps so hard, you're not gonna see a ton of right fading with it. So it could be really nice for those courses where you might have a lot of out of bounds, you might need a disc to hold a hard line and then just kind of stop thrown low. That's what this does, forehand or backhand. 
and the backhand you can see it almost showed a tiny bit of turn and then just knifed into the ground at just over 300 feet so i think this has an extreme amount of utility paired with something like a flare firebird to be not a less stable complement but a less fading complement whereas those discs will stay in the air a long time and get a lot of right movement and skip this one doesn't seem to now as you could tell it was raining when i was throwing both of them so i'd like to try them again when it's not rainy maybe i'll throw them on the course um, they have stamped versions coming in soon and i'll be looking to check those out as well hope you guys enjoyed it have a good evening thanks for watching have a great night